Hello fellow pipe smokers. This is my first video on uh, pipe smoking. Um, hopefully it won't be my last, kind of a introductory video. I figured I'd start off by sharing a few of my favorite pipes. Um, let you guys get an idea of what I like to smoke, the pipes I have, pipes I like to smoke. So let's get started. Here we have a nice Peterson system pipe. This is a pretty big pipe. It smokes really good. This is the only Peterson I have right now, but I will definitely be adding uh, more Petersons to my pipe rack. These are this is a good pipe, and I like this Peterson. Here we have a Savinelli. Um, this was one of my first pipes. Uh, it was very affordable. It was only like I think thirty-five or thirty-seven dollars U.S. Um, and it smokes really great. Uh, I've dedicated this pipe to aromatics. Um, aromatic to pipe tobacco smokes really good in this pipe. It really brings out the flavors of the aromatics. And here we have a Dr. Graybow freehand. Um, I really like Dr. Graybow pipes. They're like the best bang for the buck when it comes to pipes. Um, and this one has some pretty decent uh, grain on the bowl. Um, it's nice. It's not fabulous grain, but it's uh, it's nice. It's also got this these grooves cut in the top of the bowl. I think that's supposed to simulate a plateau top. Um, I don't know, a little cheesy probably, but it smokes good, and that's all that really matters to me. Here we have a uh, Stanwell. This is one of their pipes from their Vario line. Um, I really like this one because it has a combination of a smooth finish and a sandblasted finish on this pipe. I kind of like that uh, two-tone type of finish on this. And uh, also the plateau top. I thought that was kind of cool looking too with this finish. Uh, this pipe actually has a military mount to it, not a standard uh, mortise and tenon type of fitting. This is a Perinelli. I got this from a local tobacco shop here in town. This is what they carried in their basket pipes or Perinelli's and I like this for the same reason I like that Stanwell. It's kind of got a, a dual finish on it, both smooth and in this case rusticated finish on on the pipe. I kind of like that um, like that finish and it's got a nice little, well it's not a gold band, it's probably a brass band on it for a little bit of accent. This is a nice little pipe too. And here we have a near up. This is a near up pipe. I really like the grain on this pipe. I thought it was really nice. Um, it's also a, kind of a big pipe. It's a, a panel billiard. You can see the hexagonal panels on it. And it's kind of big. The bowl on it is pretty big. And it's got really thick walls. So. Um, it doesn't get very hot if I tend to smoke this a little fast sometimes it doesn't get the bowl doesn't get hot and I'm not a clincher I hold my pipes in my hand while I'm smoking so since this has a nice big bowl on it it's really comfortable for me to hold so I like this pipe both for how comfortable it is to hold and the nice the nice grain on it in here we have my one and only Meerschaum pipe this is a block meerschaum straight from Turkey. Um, I got it in a, the lattice finish in a Dublin shape. Um, I've been smoking this now for just a little under a year and it's just starting to develop a little color on the shank but not really any color on the bowl. The bowl's gone from a really pure white to a more of a cream color off-white whereas the the shank is really starting to get that nice honey brown golden color to it. This is a nice pipe to smoke too for a change of pace meerschaum. Well that's a few of my pipes. Um, hope you liked them. I like them um, and I'll hopefully be back with some more videos in the future about pipe smoking and I hope you check them out. Thanks.